Footage from the air ambulance onboard camera shows British backpacker Danny Maggs arriving at hospital, his right leg bandaged to protect the shark bite wounds. 22-year-old Danny had been swimming and snorkeling with fellow Brit Alistair Radden, who posted this photo of the pair online yesterday. The 28-year-old from Southampton has been more seriously injured and lost a foot in the attack. Both men are said to be in a stable condition. News footage from Australia shows them holding hands in the helicopter as they were transferred to hospital. One of the male patients was attacked first um, and the shark is believed to return and come back and attack the second patient. Both patients were loaded onto the vessel that they were out on, um, on the day cruise. There was two, believed to be two international paramedics on board that vessel who have instigated first aid treatment. We don't yet know which breed of shark was involved, but experts at Blue Planet Aquarium back here in the UK are puzzled by that description of the shark biting one swimmer and then returning to bite another, and say when sharks do come into contact with humans, it's normally just out of curiosity. Very unusual, um, which makes me think that it's either two sharks um, or maybe it's provoked in some respect you know, maybe it wasn't happy or it didn't it felt threatened by the two people which is why it decided to take a bite out of both of them but it's incredibly unusual behavior because normally there'd be the curiosity bite yeah. and then that would it be off disappear yeah Tour operator Zigzag Wit Sundays has praised the quick thinking of its crew and the other passengers. Initial reports suggest the two Brits had been wrestling and thrashing in the water just before the shark appeared. Danny Maggs posted this photo online and is said to have told friends back home it was scary but that he's doing well. Peter Lane, 5 News.